Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. I'm Carlo, and in this video, we're going to install Duck DNS on your Home Assistant. As always, if you prefer a written version, you can head on over to techtechandmoretech.com or check the link in the description below. For those of you that may not know, Duck DNS is essentially a way to access your Home Assistant but not be on the same network. So if you're out and you're on LTE on your phone or something like that, you still want to access your Home Assistant, this is the way you would do it. It's a very simple add-on in Home Assistant and once it's up and running, you don't have to touch it basically ever again. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All you need to follow along is Home Assistant up and running. You need a computer with internet access, of course, and you need to be able to access your router settings. If you've got all that, then let's jump right in. Okay, so let's go ahead and install Duck DNS. First thing we're gonna do is go to Supervisor, Add-on Store, and Duck DNS, and install. As always, we can check the documentation to see what all we really need. There's a couple of different things. So we're gonna pause on this and then we're gonna come back to it towards the end. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our router settings. For me, it's 172.16.01. For you, it might be 192.168, something, something, something. You can use network apps or Fing to find out what that is and get into this. Now this is different from, for everyone, of course. I'm using a Netgear router, but there's two things we wanna do. We wanna assign a static IP address to our Raspberry Pi. I don't think this is 100% necessary, but I think it just makes it a little bit easier um, on the back end. And the second thing we wanna do is some port forwarding. So for me, I'm gonna to go to Advanced, Setup, LAN Setup, and I'm gonna add a device. So address reservation, you can find the one here, it says Home Assistant 43, that's mine. And I'm going to hit on add. This basically just means that this IP address is always going to be that IP address. Now I'm going to go advanced and port forwarding. We're going to add a service, add custom service. And what's nice is it actually kind of shows me all the different devices, so I can select this one, Home Assistant. Service name, I'm just gonna call it Home Assistant Duck DNS. Protocol is gonna be TCP, and external port range is going to be 443, and then uncheck this, and internal is gonna be 8123. And that's it. We're gonna hit on Apply, and that's pretty much it. The next thing to do is to go to duckdns.org. So duckdns.org, duckdns.org, and then you can sign in with any one of these accounts up here. I'm gonna sign in with one of my Google accounts. Now, you can see that I already have a couple things down here, and that's because I've used this before, to obviously to test and show. But you get five free domains, and you can just name them whatever you want. So you'd go to this, your subdomain, and just name it whatever you want. Now you'll need to come up with a unique domain just across the board. So do something that's kind of unique to you so that there's a little chance of it being used somewhere else. So tech, tech, MR, tech, DNS, HA, and add domain. Now that that is done, you're gonna have a token up here. Mine's blurred out because I don't want you having my token. So now that we have this, what you can do is now we're gonna go back to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, check documentation to make sure that we're doing everything correctly. And now we're gonna copy the DuckDNS token and go to the configuration file. And we are going to paste it right here in our token. And under domains, we're gonna copy this. So once you type in your token and your domains, click on save. Once you've typed in your token and your domains, we can go back to the info and start DuckDNS. And we're almost done. We're gonna to go to File Editor. We're gonna open up our configuration.yaml by selecting it right here. And we're gonna add this text. It's in the description below, but it is HTTP. We're gonna type in our base URL, which is the full URL of the, basically the DNS redirect. The SSL certificate, where that is located and where the SSL key is located. We'll hit on save once that is typed in. And then we are going to go to configuration and server controls and restart. 
and we should see a little connection loss reconnecting and if we've done everything right we should have to re-log in. Now it says connection loss reconnecting and if you notice if we try and refresh this URL home assistant.local8123 it's probably not going to work and that's because we've redirected it. So what we're going to do is take that URL I can create a new tab, https slash slash, and then we're going to type in this, what we just created. It has to be https because we are using SSL as a secure connection. Enter, and boom, we can now log in with our credentials. And that's it. And that is DuckDNS installed and fully operational. This means that now you can access Home Assistant from anywhere in the world, uh, from whatever network, by using this URL because it redirects. And there you have it. DuckDNS is fully configured. You can now access your Home Assistant from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll help you out as much as I can. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. And until next time, see ya.